In this video, I'm going to show you how I went from this long exposure RAW file to this, all in Lightroom Classic. Hello amigos, this is Pablo Garcia, the engineer photographer. Today, I'm going to show you how I edited this image, this night cityscape of Manhattan taken from the Brooklyn side with the East River between Brooklyn and Manhattan. I took this image just over nine years ago on a very cold and windy January night. This image was taken at ISO 100 and I use F11 for two reasons. One, to give me about a 60 second exposure, it ended up being about 61 seconds, because I wanted to smooth out the water. And the second reason is I wanted to see if I could get some stars on the light. And I was able to get a very nice star on this light here that adds something extra to the image. I took this image in raw format, and we know that we shouldn't draw that give us more flexibility in editing. We can recover the shadows, we can recover more on the highlights, we can adjust white balance and so on. So this is your original image. You know, big difference from the final edited image to the original image that I took. Let me show you how I edited this RAW file. First thing I want to do is, the photo is a little crooked. So I'm gonna go to the crop tool and I'm just going to straighten the horizon a bit. And that seems about right. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to crop the image a bit. We have this building here on the right side. There is a little overblown. So I'm just going to crop it out. And I'm going to bring the image in something like that. I'm also taking a look at the old pier and the seagulls and trying to make it a little more symmetrical. So something like that I think will work. So far so good. Next thing I want to do is I want to adjust the color temperature. And that's one of the advantages of shooting in RAW is that we have a lot of flexibility on adjusting color temperature or white balance. So I'm gonna take the eyedropper, I'm gonna click on the clouds and you can see the clouds got neutralized and gave me a nice blue sky. Uh, from here, um, now I'm gonna do some minor adjustments, perhaps make it a little more blue, something like that I think will work. Next thing I want to do is I'm gonna remove a couple of distractions. We have a couple of lens flares that I'm gonna remove with the heel tool and just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Remove that one and remove that one. And another big distraction are the lights right here that are overblown. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna select this area and replace it with the area over here. I'm gonna hold the shift key to hold this area straight in the selection and it did a very nice job. I'm just gonna try to blend it a little better, you know, something like that. And we basically replace those overblown lights. And when we do our global corrections, they're gonna look so much better. Now I'm gonna do some global adjustments. You know, to that global adjustments, I'm going to increase the exposure a bit, something like two stops. I'm gonna add some contrast. I'm gonna bring the highlights down and recover the highlights quite a bit. I'm gonna bring the shadows down as well, just a touch. I'm gonna bring the blacks down and add a little more contrast, a little more of a black point. And I'm gonna give it some vibrance and a little bit of saturation. So far we had gone from that to this. It's already looking quite a bit better. So we're done with the global adjustments. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to do a number of local adjustments using the masks. The first one is I'm gonna to go to the mask area and I want to select the buildings. I can try select subject, 
But I think for this one, I'm going to do select objects and I'm just going to draw around the buildings and let their artificial intelligence in Lightroom do the final selection. You can paint the buildings, but I can tell you most times Lightroom will fill it in for you. So there it did a very nice job. Now, what I want to do to the buildings, bring the exposure up a bit, something like that. I'm going to bring the highlights up just a touch. And in color, I'm going to warm up the buildings a bit so they stand out a little bit more from the blue sky. And I'm going to go now to Presence and add a touch of texture and a touch of clarity. And if I turn that mask on and off, you can see already a big difference. Now, the next thing I want to do is to deal with the bottom of the image. And actually, I'm going to crop it a little bit more from the bottom. Something like that. So we're going to deal here with the bottom and we need to brighten the bottom. So I'm going to create another mask. I'm going to select Add Mask, Linear Gradient, holding the Shift key to keep it straight. And I'm going to put a linear gradient on the bottom. And to this linear gradient, I'm going to add quite a bit of exposure, a little over one stop perhaps, brighten up that area quite a bit. Add some highlights. I'm going to add some contrast and bring the shadows down for a little bit of more contrast. And something like that will do it. So with that mask, we already did that. And that's the advantage again of shooting raw that allow us to uh, recover detail in the shadows. Next thing I want to do is we have these seagulls on, on these pier pylons. Uh, I want the seagulls to pop a little bit more. And to do that, I'm going to select a brush, a new mask, and I'm just going to paint this area right here where the seagulls are. Okay, so I'm playing that. And to that area, what I want to do is I'm going to add some texture and some clarity. And again, I can show you the before and after. It just makes those seagulls in that area pop a little bit more. Next thing I want to do is we have some problem areas. And one of the problem areas is this street right here that for my taste is a little too bright. So let's deal with that one first. We'll create another mask. We're going to select the brush and I'm just going to paint in this area right here. And to that area, I'm going to bring this posture down and that tree is a little green because of the color balance. So I'm going to go to color and I'm going to bring the saturation down a bit. So now we had dealt with that tree there. The second problem area is this one right here. It just looks dirty. What happened is there were quite a few seagulls here in the water and the water was really choppy. So they were moving around as I was taking this image. We just need to fix it. What I'm going to do and probably the easiest fix is because I try cloning or healing from this area and I didn't get good results. So what I'm going to do in these is create a new mask, select the brush and just paint over this area and very easy fix. We're going to bring the exposure down. Basically, we're going to go back to how that area was before we add the uh, graduated filter. I'm going to bring the shadows down a bit. And in presence, I'm going to reduce the clarity. And basically, we got rid of those distractions from the moving seagulls. Next thing I want to do is the sky is a little too bright. So I'm going to create a new mask and this time I'm going to do select sky and I'm going to bring the exposure down something like about two thirds of a stop. Now I don't like what it did to the clouds. So I'm going to bring the whites up and recover the clouds a bit. 
So that's the effect of the sky. So if we turn off all the mass, that's with the mass turn off, and this is with the mass turn on. It's already looking quite a bit better. Two more things I want to do to this image. One is I'm gonna close the mask. I'm gonna to go to the detail section and I'm just gonna add some additional sharpening. You know, you can zoom in and go at 100% to evaluate the effect of your sharpening. And the next thing I want to do is I want to add a little more pop to the buildings. Basically, I want to lift the midtones. And if we look at the basic panel, you know, we have highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. We don't have a midtone boost, right? But there is one in Lightroom. I can go to color grading, select midtones, and now I have a luminance slider that basically adjusts the midtones. And I can bring, you can look at the histogram. If I shift, all it's doing is shifting the midtones to the right. It's not touching the shadows or the highlights. And now look at the image. All I'm doing is bringing the midtones up a bit, something like 30 points. And if I turn that off and on, it's a subtle change, but it just brightens the image quite a bit. And this is the final image. What do you think? So it went from here to here. I'm going to make it full size. So let's talk about what we did to this image. You know, we did some cropping and straining of the image. We did some global adjustments, correcting the white balance. We added a number of local masks to brighten the buildings, brighten the bottom portion of the image, adding detail and pop to the pylons in the area where the seagulls are. We did some corrections. We darkened the sky. And then we used that trick of going to the color grading section and boosting the midtones to get the buildings to pop a little bit more. Well, thank you, amigos, for watching my videos. I have a big favor to ask. I already passed the 1,000 subscriber mark, but the next big milestone is to get to at least 4,000 hours of view time. And I'm getting very close. So if you're liking my videos, I'll ask you to watch another video or a portion of video to, to help me get beyond the 4,000 hours of view time. I leave you here with these two videos I did recently. One is using the XO Pure Raw 3 for high ISO images. And another one on my workflow with my four favorite plugins for Lightroom Classic. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Continue to help me grow the channel and I'll see you next time.